Hai guys Oke okay guys, we have some breaking news uh, Sijui kama mnajua uyu demo anaitwa Ruth Wengi wenu nimeshinda nikitaja Ruth kwa video zangu But you guys, you told me to do a video on Ruth Ruth ni demo mkenya mwenye alikuja hapa Saudi Arabia okay? Kufanya kazi hapa Saudi Arabia Lakini ikiwa taretisa mwaka wa 2023 mwezi wa nne akaweza kutuacha alituacha kwa njia ambayo ilikuwa tatanishi Ruth al alikuja tu Saudi Arabia kufanya kazi aliletwa na agent lakini akaona maybe mateso yenye alikuwa anapitia akaona hata ya vumilia akaweza kukemboi Ruth akakemboi akaenda huko nje but what i can say ni mtu alikuwa anapenda raha. Kwa sababu guys, Ruth aliku, alianza kuzozana na ma, wasichana marafiki zake of which atujui alikuwa anazozania nini. But hiyo siku yenye alikufa. Alikuwa amelewa, alikuwa anatoka pofu na alikuwa anatoka bado damu. So, atujui what happened au wasichana marafiki zake kama ni wao walimuua ama kulienda aje sasa hapo mimi sijawahi elewa sitaki si kuongea sana lakini alikuwa amezozana na wao wasichana ndio sasa wakamnini sijui sasa kulienda aje ndio sasa Ruth akapatikana kwa stairs alikuwa amekufa unaona hizi nyumba za Saudi vile zinakuanga unatoa mtu unamweka kwa stairs Ruth hii ni picha yake yenye mnaona hapa after kutoanishwa kwa hiyo nyumba Walimvuruta wakamweka hapo kwa stairs matiti zikiwa nje alikuwa na mwaga damu alikuwa na mwaga pofu so conclusion yenye ilimuwa ilisemekana alikuwa mulevi so atujui kile ambacho kilichomuua Ruth ni pombe ni kupigwa ama ni nini lakini alikuwa na mzozano na marafiki wake in my channel i will always talk about the disadvantages of runaway Yaani ubaya wa kukemboi. Me I don't advise people to run away. Juu kama angalia Ruth, I'm sorry to say this. Lakini tumeona mambo mingi sana ikifanyika huku nje. Na if I may say it's like each and every month tunapoteza kemboi, tunapoteza kemboi kila mwezi hapa Saudi Arabia. Na as I always say Why is it not that sio sio Dubai sio Kuwait sio Syria sio Egypt sio Lebanon sio Bahrain Bona kila saa tuna tunashinda tu kuimba ati Saudi 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 amekufia Saudi amekufia Saudi Imagine Mwarabu anakutesa kuliko vile una yani mkenya mwenzako anakutesa vile kuliko vile Mwarabu anakutesa It is so unfortunate mtu alikuja Saudi Arabia kutafutia familia yake, kutafutia watoto wake, lakini all of a sudden imagine watu wanapigiwa nyumbani wanaambiwa fulani amekufa. Ebu, yani one thing about Kemboise and Dalala yenye nawapendea, huwa wanachanga haraka sana. Wanachanga kwa sababu hiyo group already ni kama imefikisha 800. 800 Kenya ni within a month hata mwezi ijaisha hiyo yenye inachangia Ruth lakini uh, najiulizanga swali why is it that they always they are always yani wanapenda kuchanga hivyo hmm? mbona uchangie mtu akikufa badala umuokoe wakati ambao ako hai i'm very sure mlikuwa mnaona yale yote ambayo Ruth alikuwa anafanya hata kama ni advice go and tell mtu hii kitu unafanya actually si poa huku ni kwa nje ya wenyewe na anything bad can happen to you. Muliona Sheila alinyongwa, si ndio? Jamal Sai anaozea jela ya Saudi Arabia. Kwa sababu ya umalaya tu. Ni umalaya umejazwa hapa Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry to say this, lakini nilisema mtaisi kunichukia mimi. You will still hate me but I will still tell you the truth. Umalaya umejazwa hapa Saudi Arabia. Pombe imejazwa na Wakenya hapa Saudi Arabia. Mirazi imejazwa hapa Saudi Arabia na Wakenya. Eh? Miadarati zote. Bangi zote ziko hapa za kila haina. 
wa Kenya wameja. Yaani unatoka tu kwenu Kenya ukiwa mzuri unafika hapa hata maybe huko unajua pombe ni nini unajiingiza kwa sarakasi ya kukunywa pombe. Hmm? Yaani una una kemboi au juu hata meaning ya kukemboi. Unaenda unashikana na washeratu huko nje watu wabaya sana eh? Kazi yako inakuwa ni kuuza kariba between. Hata we hata uongopi ukimu una, unaogopa kubeba mimba. Hmm? Unatoka kwa Mwarabu, unatoka kwa contract, unaenda huko nje. Eh? Ukienda huko nje badala utulie mahali pamoja huko kila mahali ukilipo unataka kununua manguo hautaki kuachwa nyuma watu wakienda istiraha wewe hautaki kuachwa nyuma pombe ikinunuliwa wewe ndio wa kwanza kuchanga can you guys style up Alafu mko kwa mitandao mkisema oh Alfred Moto asijui oh government ya Kenya eh hey, wametuachilia wao oh, sijui nini eh hey, hey. eh Wakati ambao wewe ndio umejiachilia kwa nchi ya wenyewe unapiga umalaya kupindukia wakati ambao wa Saudi wenyewe they are not even allowed to, to do a prostitute here hmm? mnatuaibisha na mnaharibia wale wengine imagine unaenda kuokoto mali yani umelala tu kwa stairs umekufa wewe ni mulevi una mwa, yani guys waacheni tuache haya mambo na kama wewe ni muuaji unajua umehusika na kifo yeyote ya mkenya mwenzako tafadhali I won't judge you but there is a judgment day a judgment day is coming I don't have the power to judge you only God will judge you accordingly Guys do you know what you are doing is is right like seriously why are you doing this Bona unafanya mbona mnafanyia wa Kenya wenzenu hivi? Wa Kenya tafadhali tuache tabia mbaya. Tuache kuharibu jina ya inji ya wenyewe. Kama wewe unajua ni mulevi, tafadhali kaa Kenya. Kama unajua wewe uwezi funga kariba between kako. Kariba between kako akawezi kaka mwezi mmoja kama akajapatana na kasusu. Tafadhali wewe kaa Kenya. Kama unajua uwezi acha feelings zako pale airport. Uwezi, yani we usikuje tu, usikuje Saudi. Enda Qatar ama huko Dubai. Huko uwezi uliwa, lakini hapa Saudi Arabia, madalala wako na roho mbaya watakuua my friend. Utakuja hapa utaanza kupigania mwanaume wa wenyewe, utauliwa bure. Hmm? Jamani mbona tusipendane wa Kenya? Kama sisi wenyewe hatupendani mnafikiria tunaweza pendwa na government yetu ya Kenya. Si tushikane tukue kitu kimoja. Let us fight for our girls here in Saudi Arabia wakikua kwa shida. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this video at the comment section. Give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe, share and turn on the notification bell. Until next video guys.